And so I love this second step, strengthening yourself in the Lord. And, you know, we don't know exactly in that moment of chaos for David when, you know, people are ready to stone him and, and he's dealing with his own grief of the loss of his, you know, wife and, you know, mm -hmm. children, mm -hmm. uh, you know, for him to be able to stop in that pause place and go, okay, I'm going to strengthen myself in the Lord. Uh, because he was a worshiper, I imagine that probably, you know, had to do with some engaging in worship um, encounter in the heavenly realm. Mm -hmm. you know, I believe he had that access. And so really it's about connecting relationally. Um, and this is key before inquiring of the Lord again, too, is that, you know, if my relationship with you was just, what are you going to get this done? What is this going to happen? What, why is this happening? Um, it wouldn't be a very good relationship. I kind of... Oh, yeah. with the move. Oh, you're... Okay, you're not talking about the move. All right, never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> and so, you know, just really taking that time to connect relationally with the Lord. And whatever that looks like for you, if that's encounter in the heavenly realm, if it's worship, praying, singing in the spirit, um, getting out in nature, grounding. And really this involves also good self-care. Um, yeah. Yeah. so that you're prepared for those times yeah well and and if anybody <clears throat> really thinks about it uh those emotions that need to be brought into check again from the place of peace from the place of rest in christ those emotions um if they're not seated in christ if they're not already resting in him uh those emotions can be good or bad yeah so sure. you know you could be thinking well, we've seen this, somebody infatuated with another person going to the Father in that state of mind and asking, Lord, is this the person for me? And they get the word, yes, because, you know, again, uh, I think it's in Ezekiel where, um, you know, the Father gives to the person what they're asking for, even the though it's not the, yeah. the idol of the heart, even though it's not going to be best for them. So I would rather operate from that place of that peace that passes all understanding and that place of rest in him and wait till my emotions are in him resting in him mm -hmm. and then ask the questions yeah. because otherwise you're not going to get a clear answer yeah. it's going to be completely tainted by your emotions that are engaged at the moment and that, you know that sounds like maybe you you know we're trying to say well you got to be emotionless no your emotions are a great thing that god has given you However, you are responsible for how you display them, use them, engage with them. And if you're engaging, if they're engaging you, in other words, if they're coming and they're really controlling you, the tail wagging the dog, it's not going to be a good experience. So experience the emotions to the fullest, but from that place of rest and from the place of peace. And uh, Grace to Glory says, I need this overwhelming circumstances to me currently with no immediate end in sight. And we just want to release um, the Lord's love and healing to you right now in those circumstances. And, you know, we definitely understand um, just a little bit in what we've gone through lately. Um, you know, sometimes you think a move is no big deal, but uh, it's ranked in the stress level with mm -hmm. death and divorce. And um, so, you know, we just release love to you, Grace. Mm -hmm.